Here we are, and it is now Thursday morning, and we're living now in the light and the face of a state of emergency in Bermuda with the requirement that we shelter in place come Saturday, come Friday evening. So what do we do in that time period? Today I want to talk a little bit practically about establishing a daily routine. If you just sit around and, and wait all day long, it'll be too, too depressing and we can get ourselves into all kinds of emotional and physical issues. So how do we establish a routine? And there are some wonderful little tips that we have in the Bible. Firstly, uh, following the example of Jesus, who we read on a number of occasions, uh, rose early in the morning to pray while it was still dark, or again, in the evening, prayed, sometimes praying all night, to establish a spiritual routine of prayer and Bible reading on a regular time and in a regular place uh, each day will help. In the Bible also, we read how often the disciples met together, breaking bread with each other in their own homes. When it comes to mealtime, if you're living with someone else, make sure you sit down with that person to spend those moments together in conversation, sharing a meal, and uh, sharing your lives as you do. Exercise. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8 says that uh, physical training is good. So put some cider, time aside to, to walk around the house, to do some exercise. But he goes on to say that training in godliness is better still. So put the two things together, a little physical training, a little spiritual training uh, as part of your day. Setting aside time every day for acts of service. As, uh, as we know, the, Jesus came not to serve, not to be served, but to serve and give his life for others. And again and again in the Bible, we read at how we look out beyond ourselves. And so if you devote just, uh, let's say, an hour or so to when you pick up the, call, the phone, call friends, call family members, do something for the people living in your house that will serve them and bless them, it gets you thinking outside of yourself and allows your thoughts to be focused in a different direction. We have all those little chores that we think about that we need, need to do. We never get around to doing them. Well, I've I, I reminded this morning of a wonderful uh, section in the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament. And I just want to read it to you because uh, it uh, makes me smile, but also it has a, a wisdom to it. And this morning as we woke up, as we went into our kitchen, uh, they were uh, around the floor this morning. It's always a joy to see them. Uh, it says this, Go to the ant, you lazy bones. Consider its ways and days. Without having any chief or officer or ruler, it prepares its food in summer and gathers its sustenance in harvest. So the ant teaches us the importance of setting things aside, storing up, looking after stuff. So maybe there's some chores that you need to do, which you can spend uh, just a few moments every day. Establish a routine. Enable yourselves to have something to look forward to every day, something that I'm going to do today. And in that light, God will help us through these days, remembering always to begin and end with prayer, fixing your eyes on Jesus. So shall we pray together? Loving Father, although we live in these times when our, our times are out of our hands, Lord, we thank you that you are always with us. And we thank you, Father, for these opportunities that we have. May we look at these days not as uh, a restriction, uh, but as an opportunity to do things differently. Please help us to establish each one of us a daily routine so that we can serve others and so that we can keep communicating and so that our spirits will be lifted. We pray for your protection and blessing on those who may struggle uh, with being alone or with issues of depression. Lord, we pray that you would lift them up and, and grant them in these small little ways to, to move forward and to greet each day, not with dread, but with hope. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.